DC fans, members of the press, thank you for coming. Dr. Yao. Uh, earlier this year, we introduced the, the new design that we started mentioned. We call it liquid surface. This, this direction marked a bold new step in HCC's design aesthetic, material development, forming, finishing, and assembly. Liquid surface really pushed the envelope for what's possible with aluminum and glass. Our goal with liquid surface was, surface was to breathe new life into our unibody and blend the durability of aluminum with the purity and elegance of glass. The unibody construction by nature is very clean and simple. Liquid surface intent was to bring multiple parts together in the simplest, cleanest way possible. With the HCC U11, our amazing design team took liquid surface to a whole new level in this compact 5.5 inch QHD package John and showed you today. The glass is not an easy material to work with. It's unpredictable when trying to shape it, cut it, color it. It takes a lot of skill. It might be okay for sculptors and artists where these idiosyncrasies of the material um, add character. But when you're trying to bring mass scale manufacturing, where fine tolerances are required to bring multiple parts together, we have to, and, you, and we strive for such high quality and you strive for such beauty, we had to redesign our processes, shift glass from art to science. To create the HCC used complex 3D forms, our engineers created and refined a completely new manufacturing process. The process includes dozens of forming operations that take that flat piece of gorilla glass and apertures to cameras, speakers, LEDs, and then heat it to an excess of 500 degrees C, and then step by step, ever so, ever so gently, form those beautiful curves. And then to fix this glass to that rock-solid piece of aluminum that sits in the middle, we had to fine-tune the tolerances to absolute perfection. The result, though, speaks for itself. Just run your hands over the form and you'll be amazed at the solidity and just how great it feels. As Charlie mentioned, the U11 is available in five colors, which you'll see at the booth here today. But by applying color to the back side of the device, we also flood the glass with this super rich, deep, durable pigment. And that doesn't rub off, unlike anodizing, which is on the front surface of glass, because this is on the back, it's actually really, really durable. The effect is incredible. Not only do you just see these base colors, but you see these other, other colors shining through. Charlin talked about the, uh, the amazing silver, but the black one, pick it up. You've never seen black like it. You see these little hues of green coming through. Um, my personal favorite is sapphire blue, just an amazing, amazing color. But because the color, color is slight to the back of the glass, and it's super durable, it's not going to scratch your wear off. But in addition to that, the great thing we've introduced with the HTC U11 this year is dust and waterproof rating. So the HTC U11 is built to live with you through life's ups and downs. Now we all know that screens are getting bigger. Sometimes it's cumbersome to access those frequently used functions that you have. Today, we introduced this new user experience platform called HTC Edge Sense. Edge Sense simply enables some shortcut interactions through the size of the device when you squeeze the HTC U11. This is enabled by a series of micro sensors that run down the left and the right hand side of the device. There's eight of them in total. Always on, super sensitive, and just waiting to respond to your command. We tested them thousands of times, and over the lifetime of the product, you're going to get an amazingly consistent experience. There's two behaviors that you can use to get into edge sensing. One is the short squeeze action that Charlie uh, mentioned earlier to, to uh, light up his camera. The other one that you can activate too with, uh, with advanced mode is a longer press. So I just did a long press on my phone here. I turn the LED on and off. I'll do that again. That's the long press, that's the second gesture. Out of the box, we set that camera for the first gesture. The second one, completely up to you. The great news is you can customize a whole host of features. So when you go into the settings menu, there's a list of different things. Classic things, take a screenshot. 
light up your favorite voice assistant, as we showed earlier on. The other great thing, though, you can choose any app. Any app that's sitting on your phone, you can assign to those two functions. So if you're running your life by Instagram, the Spotify, then just assign those two, and away you go. The level of force you apply is also something that can be completely personal to you. The slider scale you see on the screen here, you can increase the force or decrease the force, depending on what personally works for you. We've also got something we call pocket mode too. This is where we've added the proximity sensor into edge sense as well. So if this device is in your pants, as trousers, my friends in the UK, um, or your bag, or your jacket, you're not going to get false stresses. Another great thing about edge sense, unlike capacitive panels, is it works when wet, and it even works wearing gloves. So this year I spent the winter going up to the ski lift with my daughter. She wanted to take a selfie every time we were on the ski chair. I couldn't do it. I had to take my gloves off every single time. It was precarious. It was kind of dangerous. With HTC Edge Sense, that's solved. Now you can safely keep your gloves on, your hands warm, and pop a selfie. Another area for growth in consumer products has been this voice control. Now, two years ago, talking to a device was something uh, for the early adopters but we've seen a rise across the board. On the HTC U11, we set out to build the most robust mobile platform for voice oriented apps and services out there today. One always on, low power microphone constantly listens for your commands and responds with amazing accuracy and instantaneously. The technology that enables that, for example, OK Google functionality, is something called WakeWord. Wake Word enables your device to be spun up from a deep sleep state and do things for you. The great thing, and we've got some friends from Qualcomm here today, is that the Snapdragon 835 executes something called dual Wake Word. This means that when we develop our platform, we can actually add another Wake Word into the system. Now, you know HTC has always been a pioneer of openness. We want to leave it to you to decide what is best for you. As, as Charlene mentioned, we're thrilled to be partnering with Amazon in introducing Alexa as our second wake word on the HTC U11. In addition, this puts HTC at the forefront of voice service integration and helps Amazon further expand the echo ecosystem of devices and provide a completely unique experience, unified experience, as you say, across all devices. This is the first for HTC, a first for Amazon, is something we're super proud of. Alexa Wake Word will launch in the US, UK, and Germany, where Alexa has most momentum today and also has the language support. HTC U11 buyers in those markets will find the Alexa app will refresh and update to their devices sometime in the first 30 days after purchasing their device. In addition to Google and Amazon, HTC Sense Companion gets even stronger focuses on bringing you recommendations based on really your on-device behavior. So think of this, you're a heavy user in the afternoon and you've got two dinner appointments, a dinner and maybe going to a concert or something. What's the point of us giving you an alert to charge your phone at 5 p.m. in the afternoon when you're at 5%? It doesn't help you. So we manage, we look at the behavior you have and we think, ah, this person's got a busy afternoon ahead of them and a busy evening. They're not going to be getting in a taxi till 10.30 tonight. We're going to tell you at 2 o'clock in the afternoon, hey, try charging, try charging your phone to get you through to your, to your taxi ride home. That's the kind of stuff HTC Sense Companion can do. The past few months we've rolled out a series of new features including commuting advice, step counts, weather forecasts, phone power and performance. But when I was in New York last week, a colleague of mine, as he landed on the tarmac at JFK, he got a reminder from HTC Sense Companion about five uh, different restaurants you could have, uh, we could go to that night. What was funny about that was that very soon after we sat down in that restaurant that night, he also got this alert. Told him his set down hadn't been good enough this week, and we had to walk, walk all the way home this, this evening. Um, so HTC not only keeps you fed, we also keep you fit too. Our intelligent assistants are getting better and better by the day, and there's lots of people doing interesting stuff. But what we've done with HTC U11, is put the power of the most credible, complementary suite of services together in one handset so you can choose what's right for you. Another story you know well from our past, and our attention to detail, is imaging. 
We were the first people to change the game and introduce the ultra pixel and go away from the megapixel race. As Charlie mentioned, we're super proud to get this mark from the XO for both video and still images. But to reach that lofty score, our engineers had to work tirelessly to, en to enhance the ultra pixel experience on this device. We achieved that by combining five optical, five axis optical image stabiliz stabilization with f1.7 apertures and also added a new technology even only coming to dig digital SLRs today with dual pixel workloads. So the combination of all of those things combined with our software optimization helps us deliver something we're calling ultra speed auto focus. The end result is that we've got the highest rated smartphone that delivers best in class HDR, best in class auto focus with reduced noise, finer detail, improved white balance and flash color. Yes, just about every metric that you would want to bother to measure on the camera has been improved on the HTC 11 and we're super excited to be able to tell you that today. One of the other things we've sought to improve is video. And the great news is that all those innovations that we brought to our sensor, the still images, have a positive impact on video. And with the five axis optical image stabilization, electric, electronic image stabilization, we have the most stable smartphone video out there today. With great exposure, white balance, detail, and low noise. On top of that, we've, all, we've got all the high end basics we know you want from your cameras 4K video. 24-bit audio recording and this 360-degree sound recording that utilizes our four mics to focus on sound coming from multiple directions to give you a much more immersive sound recording alongside your video. It's really incredible. Another great feature that we've added is something we're calling acoustic focus. The best way to describe this is we're tying, we're tying audio levels with zoom in on video. So as you zoom in on this uh, on the subject, you get louder, more focused audio against it. I'm just going to play this for a second and let you see what that's, that what, what that feels like. feels like you're walking into the frame. It's quite incredible. It's simple, but actually quite brilliant at the same time. Well, our attention has not been limited to the main camera. We've also got a 16 megapixel f2.0 camera on the front where we've optimized our software and algorithm, algorithms to give an ultra pixel type experience. So that really, really performs well in low light conditions. And in addition, we've kept our super bright 150 degree wide angle lens so nobody gets left out of the shot. Another area where everyone is different, depending on our genetics or the kind of ambient noise levels which we're brought up with, is, is, is audio. As Charlie mentioned earlier on this year, we tried to leverage uh, USB-C to be able to intelligently sense, using sonar-like technology, what's going on in your eardrum to fill the sound profile that's exclusively for me, exclusively for you. It takes just a second, two or three seconds to set up. All happens automatically. But we didn't stop there. We added this active noise cancelling earbuds that Charlie mentioned, which are also powered through USB-C. It's the future. There's so many different things that we can do with accessories and audio that you're going to see more and more innovations on USB-C because you can take data in and out. You can take power in and out. So that allows us to harness the power of that Snapdragon 835 processor to do onboard computing, counterbalance the ambient noise that you hear, and send an amazingly pure signal back to you. You get incredible audio with this. The great thing is, it means there's no batteries in the headset. It means they're lightweight. It means they're compact. It means they're not $300 lost if you leave them on the plane. Actually, they're about $49 on HTC.com. Uh, so we're excited about bringing those, uh, those headphones to you today with, with ANC. Even better news is that these come in box with the HTC U11. And not only do the headphones come in box, but actually the guys that love the 3.5 millimeter powered uh, cans that they've got there today and they spent a lot of money on, 
we're going to ship in box the 3.5 millimeter headset to USB-C adapter to, along with that gear case to keep that beautiful finish just as beautiful as the day you bought it. So back with the HTC M7, we launched this boom sound all front-facing speakers. And every year since, we've continued to refine that boom sound experience. The HTC U11 is no exception. The engineers here have done something really clever. When you build audio, you're really looking for more back volume. But of course, there's some engineers that want to make products smaller. And so these things kind of, kind of hit head to head. The engineers in our audio team today have actually utilized all the free space a lot of the free space that comes just between components naturally in a product like this and harness that as part of the back volume to the speaker. That means we've had an incredible performance. In fact, I was out in New York and San Francisco last week doing some demos to some press and uh, they were completely blown away. I did a comparison with the HC10, which, it, which it in itself was really good audio, and compared that with the HC U11. Nine day, amazing. It's with four decibels at higher levels on the HTC U11 versus the uh, versus the HTC 10. So I'm not going to try demoing that on stage, but I do stress we've got our sound rooms over on the right hand side here. So get in there and listen to that because it really is going to be something you're going to be impressed with. So finally, let's say a few words on performance. HTC has a great partner with Qualcomm, who delivered an amazing chipset in the Snapdragon 835. However, Delivering that great performance on our features, like edge sense, ultra pixel, acoustic focus, that work, there's still work to be done on our shoulders. Our engineers work tirelessly. Mm -hmm. Hours and hours, weeks and weeks, months and months, refining that so you get the most seamless, elegant experience on our devices. We spent weeks tuning that system further. And in the time we've commercialized the HTC U11, we've continued to improve system optimization by further uh, further improvements on the GPU and also the way data comes in and out of the chipset. We've also improved battery life a significant amount by balancing the use of those cores, the four cores which are high power and four which are slightly lower power. We've balanced those out to further improve. We've, we've queued alarms concurrently rather than linear, linearly and that's, that helps us uh, improve our battery performance as well. And we've even intelligently sent apps which you may not think are running in the background and consuming battery power on your device, but we know they are. We're going to help you manage that too. And in addition to that, we've also added UFS 2.1 memory. So you get further power enhancements with that, and also see the read write as it is performed too. So the performance of the HTC 11 is absolutely stunning. So that's about it, ladies and gentlemen. We've covered design, we've covered a new user experience in HSense, we've covered USonic audio, we've got an amazing camera that's got that best in class rating now. The U11, the U, HTC U11 really has had the most complete overhaul of features than any flagship in HTC's family line before. It's absolutely comprehensive and it's right that we should do it in our 20th year. And the good news is that the HTC U11 is going to be available starting next week in certain regions and the, most, and the rest of the world beginning early June. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to say thank you. I'd like to welcome Lisa back up on stage to wrap things up. And she, she. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're finished for today. We want to thank you all again for your time. Uh, we're going to wrap up the live stream, so thank everybody who joined us. Before that, if you have any questions or queries about the latest HTC U11, just go straight on to htc.com to find out more. Okay? Thank you. And we're going to do some photography and, you know, that.